crowding. Very rational thing to do. We got out up of cave. What is his name? Gaspar here. Uh, Gaspar is old man, was fucked up. So, uh, Azalea, because you were not here, Clayton, Azalea helped, was helping him. And then we were all... Yes, it is very stereotypical. So, um... <laughs> it is... Uh, we were then all attacked by aquatic creatures, including Megalodon, giant squid, and water elemental. Mm. And we fought all of those, and then there were two pathways. There's like a... There are magic fishmen down here. There is a large serpent up here. And now, that's about all I remember, because then I had to leave. Speaking of which, what time do you have to leave to pick up Shaw again? Uh, I, I usually leave roughly 140, <laughs> 145. <laughs> of course, the the Britannians, they eliminated most of the pirates out in the Caribbean, right? Perhaps a straggler? Perhaps. Perhaps something, perhaps a refugee, you're not sure. But he does look like a European. Uh, as for you, Nikander, uh, he looks perhaps a little odd. Maybe, maybe a little, uh, maybe some signs of civilization has been lost on him. Perhaps he's been on his own for quite a bit, or maybe that's just a like a facade he's putting up. Uh, but he does look like he is well armed. He's got a saber. He's got a flintlock pistol. Very subtly, though, little signs of arcane tattoos on, like, a, on like lower neck and up, like, likely on his chest. Relevant. It's quite <clears throat> relevant right now, isn't it? With all these empires roaming the seas. Oh, I'm sure, but if we're your enemies, would that matter? Maybe. Depends on what colors you bear. No, I don't really care if you're natives, and let's be honest, none of you look like natives, except for the one over there, and he points at Daganawida. Not sure if he's a convert or not, but... No, you're all from elsewhere. Old world, as they say. I'm trying mm. to pin, pin down exactly which old world nation you all so we feel to. to. <clears throat> How's just Bar looking about all this? He's just... He's currently a little bit ways behind you all, and he's currently just observing. He's kind of waiting for all of you to make make actions and decisions. Each of us, I mean, at worst case scenario, we'll just die down there, won't we? Oh, but I'm a poor pirate, and you're all going to be filthy rich once this whole mission is done, eh? If you survive. Now, I don't know if I'll survive much. Or you might come back and put me in the noose. I don't know. But right now, I'm a merchant with supplies. And I'm sure you're looking for some. Don't know how long you might be here. It could be a week. It could be one day. It could be a year. You, you do want to take those chances. Hmm. Running of course, mercantile. Of, of course, you don't have to accept these terms. You can just walk on along. I still got food as well, but, you know, if you don't want to trade with me. Hmm. Well, I suppose if it's trade, then... I might just engage. Yep. Kind of... Smoking out a bit. Smell of tobacco lingers in the air. Yeah. So where... Where can we find this... Aboral entity? See the entrance behind me? You follow that. Take a left. And just right through there? Okay. Take a left afterward. You'll find a bit of moss and granary growing upon the walls of the cavern. Follow that. It'll lead you to the to the bastard, I'll tell you that much. I'm in no position to fight, as you can see. He kinda gestures down to his his legs. Or is it a single light. functioning leg? Someone, someone should light his peg leg on fire. I think it would be funny. I'm not gonna lie. If if we were considering fighting him, my first action was to shoot his peg leg so he would fall. <laughs> He's bigger than me. That Ooh. is... 
a very large range of criteria. There are oh. many creatures bigger than any of us. But you must know the specifics before you hunt down any beast. Regardless, I had hoped we would go after it. Hmm. So interesting how you... <clears throat> adventurers just take sh to challenge so easily. This is an old creature. In a way, seeing how it performs under the challenge of fighting us will be like observing history. Yes, and that does excite me. I think I'm starting to understand. I mean, that is if we survive this. If you survive. Or and he gives you a, a very, a very devilish grin. Oh yeah, no, no. Azalea was given a grin as she said that too. That's mm. and if it's anyone's interested, and is anyone interested in having children? <laughs> I know I do. When I get out of here, I'm going back to my wife. My wife? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I sh I shouldn't laugh at that, but this this pirate who set up a trade booth in a cave is like, man, I miss my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. That's gonna be it for me, bro. I'm settling down. <laughs> Shall we miss my wife? Hmm. And might I ask, this pi uh, usually pirates, they rarely, well, leave the profession. Might I ask you why you joined in the first place? Glory? Fame? Let's just say my motivations were similar to behind you. Gold, God, and glory, after all. And then after a bit, let's just say, mutated. And after I've survived my very many voyages, if you're a smart pirate, you s or you join the rest of the dead ones. That's just the way I've seen it after so many decades. Ah. Uh. As you emerge, Whoa. you find yourself under the That's base art. of a large stone tree-like structure with black webbings, green fluorescent lights lighting up the cavern and further above. There is, uh, there is no signs of any humanoids at the moment, but off in the distance you do see shifting rocks kind of slowly sliding across the walls you do see what appear to be basilisks kind of hissing before returning into another tunnel you find yourself in a circular layout with the trunk of this the stone tree is uh, a little, di the little difficult circular uh, uh, you will have to find a tunnel cavernous, around cavernous or region. other means of course <coughs> Yes. Um, it appears we're still underground, but not underwater anymore. Hmm. And, uh... Well, I could tell that due to the lack of sky. Yes. What an observation. You have good eyes. Especially with those cockles. <laughs> oh. Oh, the goggles are just for show. Hmm. But yeah, shall we shall we follow the good pirates directions and head left? Yes. Let's yeah. go serpent McAndrew, hunting. McAndrew, lead us. Nah. Anyway, we will go forward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Sam, what's that? Um, That's no fun. I want to lie to it. Well, according to my memory reserves, this has to be an arboreal archive. These ancient monoliths, they hold memories of their region around them. 
and storing ageless records. Logs and records of uh, threats are on them even. But they, they themselves do not interfere. And they're intelligent enough to be reasoned with. I think we could try that. We don't have to kill him. And I personally have a bias towards keeping records and <laughs> such information anyway, safe gonna, and pristine. Shao's gonna say... Damage will do no good. Dagon, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest swerve of a dialogue Bro, I've ever seen. what a cop-out. <laughs> <laughs> That's your opinion, buddy. <laughs> well, Dagon, we do you say anything? <laughs> You got the way we'll kind of look around and be like, Killing such a ancient spirit would be unwise. I would prefer not to resort to violence. There we have it. A unanimous decision. Mm -hmm. I have to agree with that. God, God knows I do not wish to mess with whatever's down here. I do not have any qualms the... with actually using what I just prefer not. It's also a bit of... You're thinking too ahead. Well, you should be thinking in the present. I am thinking Currently ahead yet. because I, unlike most of you, am dying. I am going to perish in a few years, likely. Maybe I might breach 80, I don't know. But... I... Yes, but... First, you must look at the present. The situation is, it is at hand that, well, the universe has gave you. We have to <clears> escape <throat> first so we can have info, is it not? If we exhaust our energy right now into this and we continue with this path of violence when we would end the colonies oh hush no more pan no more As preaching said, they do not interfere Light fists, they observe we'll just move on they will yes. interfere when political affairs brush up against his territories we are i'm fine to disagree right now but we must move on if this is the decision the crew makes so be it of course you can. You may take command. If you absolutely believe we must. Peace must be upheld. Alright, and we'll move on. Then let us head out. Follow the Lead blind the man. Lead the way, Nicander. Duh. And he will renew. I'll approach it and just kind of put a hand on his back and be like, no, no, you don't have to eat anymore. You, 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 ate, you already ate. You're not hungry anymore. No, you were never hungry to begin with. And the ghostly, the ghostly spirit whose ethereal streaks of tears kind of looking at you at this point, it's a little, little disturbing uh, because you can't quite tell if this is male or female and it's quite, there's a couple of features that feel distorted enough that it could be anything. It, it could have been human at one point. It, it's it's un it's uncertain. But it the it stops sweeping. Ghostly apparition kind, kind of, of sniffs, sniffles, looks back, kind of. At this point, you notice the realization that there is a it. a corpse. Like it, there's fungus and moss growing on this skeleton. It'll just kind of slowly recede back into the 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 ghost will slowly recede back into the skeleton and dissipate, as you have successfully exercised this cursed spirit. Gaspar says. Mm. Thank you, Papa. I could... I can't sense the spirit anymore. <clears throat> you did... You indeed had let him pass away. Just Yo. funny to think about. All I said was... It's just not hungry anymore, and it just kind of believed me. <laughs> Words have a strong, strong power. Sometimes, oh, that. Gaspar says, sometimes you need a good lie to believe in, 
to convince yourself to move on. Good work. Lead on, Azilia. Yeah, you're right. Nikander, take point. Nah. And he will, and he will continue on. Every time. Every time. Avoid it. He tried. Out. He tried. No, I had to. I had, I had to counter. Palm, <laughs> called the candor. Uh, and whole hand wrap it around the, the trunk of the tree. And you press just tight enough to literally push and squeeze out the animated, animated force within the statue. And it, there's like a reverberation across the tunnel here as you see ghost, ghostly like grayish uh, ethereal energy just leave the statue and it's no it's lashing out stops like abruptly you have successfully disabled the trap yes we are then i am speaking for our group we just want to no way to leave. We do not wish to invade this region, which is your home. You say this now, but what in ten years? A hundred years? Hmm. I think my friend Shao Hao said something about living in the present. I think that's very applicable right now. But you are not a ever. You are not one whose lifespan is short. Then you might even think like myself. Then we will gain the information oh, required. Diplomacy check. This is making an impression. She will not. You would get a plus one because you are speaking in Fey. Dude, you are not a creature of deceit. I assume you make deals all the time, and you won't back out on this one. Less so deals like those you associate with devils, and more so requests. For I am asking this, and placing my trust in all of you. Hmm. Deals are obligations, there is no trust needed. How very Mortal of you. She will <clears throat> slowly crane her neck toward the blue-haired woman down there before looking back at all of you. Clayton, what do you think? So, Mr. Irons, where can we find this Calendula? That's not my fucking job, I have no idea where he is. I'm pretty sure you might. Right, he's been around the bend here. It's not like I know what that, what that means, where he is. There's been fighting around. Namely, some of the, uh... Lashies or whatever. Maybe some elementals. They've did some battle with him and his fiends. But he's likely far off, far off elsewhere. If you want to take the time to investigate his tunnels, it'll take you quite a while. Hmm. But we do have time. Guess we're sweating. <laughs> like Most of us do. A little asterisk. Yeah. Shining beacon of hope as we venture through this dark and dangerous cave. Ah. Uh, like venturing <laughs> those caves in Asturias, no, I understand. They all will look exactly. behind him and then. They all look behind him and laugh. <laughs> it, it, it's not that funny, Jesus. <sighs> No, you, like, it several is. Several centuries old. Get over yourself. I enjoy being silly sometimes. You I'm grumbles. sorry. He grumbles and walks away. <laughs> with, 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 very <laughs> brightly, <laughs> walks away. <laughs> Assuming, as as he's walking away, I'm gonna like stand standing next to Johan. Uh, is able to go. I, mean, I, I I made all I made all of that up. I just wanted to see the line on top of his helmet. I thought that'd be really funny. <sighs> yes. It is quite entertaining. Because you yeah. critically succeeded. You son of a bitch. You're literally the only one that <laughs> I'm hitting you again, actually. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh. Like, I, I literally could have hit her just twice in the back and go, think next time. Forgive me, I've never encountered a crystal like that. I thought I had the right spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the comical, like, poof out of my mouth. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like, clean my, my face. Because it's probably, like, looking like a fucking pure blank. Uh, Gaspar, Gaspar's currently, like, on his knees, kind of killed over with, like, blood coming out of his nose. Yoan, even though he succeeded, will be rolling on the uh, ground, cringing. You ah, oh! Do you... I see everyone got injured by that explosion. <coughs> Do you guys wish to yeah, no, take a of life? Like an hour Mod of... Well, no, actually, no, a healing potion moderate. An hour to heal. Very well, go ahead and... How loud was that, Percy? Thank you, thank you. Apply that healing to him and say, Just a little something. It's not much, but it'll get you on your feet again. I will uh, whisper to you in Elvish. Don't let... Don't let what Nikander said get to you. You tried your best. In Elvish, I will, I will reply, I'm not going to take any insults from an orc, it's okay. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I should have known she was also racist if she was Fuck! adopted by him. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you thought only the human was racist? That was racist of you to presume. <laughs> elf wouldn't be racist. Joke's on you, I assume every elf is racist. <laughs> oh no, that's racist. <laughs> oh oh no! Triple jokes on you, the whole I've party is the very racist. thing I hate. <laughs> uh, but yeah. A... An illusory... Uh, effect takes hold. As the candor you kind of post up. With your harmona. Not your harmonica, and kind of wait as as the, uh, as all of you kind of prepare, tense up. Also, it's kind of tense. Your head's still kind of rattling, and you wait for whoever is coming down these tunnels. A violent confrontation, perhaps a diplomatic one, but you've had enough diplomacy with enough foreign bodies that this might be stretching it even for Lusanian standards. And as you. Kind of keep looking down toward the tunnel. And as you look down, the iron sights. Candor. That's where we'll end the session. Oh, frick.